Hey, what's going on, everybody? Justin from Blue Collar Survival again. Time for another knife review. If you guys are new to my channel and haven't uh, watched it and you enjoy my content, throw me a thumbs up down below. I got new reviews coming out weekly and uh, demos and testing I put out periodically. Uh, the testing I generally do every third week. But yeah, if you guys are into the budget knives and gear and stuff like that, definitely come back and check me out. Um, I'm in the process of doing, I'm trying to work on a bug out bag video, so hopefully that will be coming here in the future. So something to look forward to. But anyway guys, let's go ahead and get into this. So today we'll be doing the Grandway uh, Skeleton 7-in-1 Skeletool. It's uh, model number is 33014. And uh, I would like to reiterate one of my comments on uh, the last Grandway review I did. I said that they were made in the Ukraine. They are actually designed in the Ukraine, bleh, in the Ukraine, and they are uh, made in China. But it doesn't bother me. I don't care if they're made in China. If you make a good knife, you make a good knife. I know a lot of people want to do the made in the USA, and I'm all for that too, but... You pay for some of that stuff made in the USA when you can get the same thing dang near made in China. So I like to support our country, but if another country makes it cheaper, well, I'm going to go for it. All right, guys, so I picked this up on Amazon the other day. Nice little 7-in-1 uh, tool. Probably weighs about, I think, about 5.5, 5.6 to 6 uh, ounces. I mean, a little heavy, but not too bad. It's got the aluminum, uh, and these are just scales. These come off, but um, I had a couple issues when I very first got it. So when I took it out of the box, I set it down, and when I set it down, one of these washers came off. So I went to put it back on, and I couldn't get it on. The screw wouldn't reach. Uh, the bottom has kind of a divot, so it fits in nicely. I actually had to grind the back side of one of these washers off in order to get it back on. A um, few little aesthetic things, nothing big. Now you guys have to take into consideration this is a $13 knife. And for $13 and what you get, it's pretty darn good. So I can get over some of the uh, 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 fit and finish issues that were there. Like I said, I got it fixed. Everything's on there good. You know, not a big deal. So, all right. We'll go ahead and start with the basic. This actually bugs me quite a bit. So they got your Phillips head screwdriver. And that's the only screwdriver you get. No flathead. Now there's a file that I kind of looked at at first and thought, oh, maybe that's the flathead. That's really thick, though. So it will be a flathead screwdriver shortly. I will be doing a modification on it. And I'll go ahead and just grind that down finer so I'll have my flathead. So that kind of bugged me a little bit, you know, why would you give just the uh, the Phillips and no flathead? Like I said, this will be my, uh, my flathead soon. So we got our uh, Phillips screwdriver and then we got our file, two sides. And um, there's a little blade play in some of the tools. Alright, so we got a... Uh, a bottle, bottle opener, and then our can opener. You got just two and one right there. Yeah, I'm gonna make you guys wait till last for the blade. And I'm actually quite impressed with the blade that comes with this. Got your spring scissors, and the scissors are pretty nice. And the saw's actually pretty nice too. It's your uh, basic, you know, double tooth. But yeah. Pretty nice saw, but for a multi-tool, this is one thing I know a lot of gripes with uh, with multi-tools is is the blade size, and these guys here actually did it pretty good. So as you can see, it's a three-inch blade, you know, um, and I do have an issue with the blade, um, and once again, this is just a cosmetic issue. I don't know if I can get that on camera or not. It can be kind of hard. But, if it wasn't that dang, you can kind of see. Well, anyway, so the blade bevel comes here. Well, then as it gets up here, it actually 
comes all the way up here. I mean, that's all bevel right there, which I can be fixed, but um, it made for there's no point on the blade. So the machine grinding that was on it was just the issue. 440C steel, which you guys know I do like 440C. Um, decent thickness on the blade, but yeah, a three inch blade on a multi tool, and I mean, an actual girthy blade, you know, a nice. It's got a nice belly on it, and but yeah, twelve dollars. I, I I couldn't argue when I was ordering the other one. This one popped up as well, and I think it was twelve dollars and ninety cents on Amazon right now. Um, but like I said, for what you get, I think it's a pretty darn good deal. I mean, there's like I said, you can some of these things can be modded. I will definitely be uh, changing that to my screwdriver and I'll fix the blade as well it's not a big deal if you if you have any kind of experience in reprofiling blades and stuff like that then this won't be an issue I mean it feels pretty good in the hand you know it's thick but it does still feel good in the hand I was quite impressed with it I mean other than those few little hiccups with the uh, cosmetic deals I mean now uh, they actually have a 10-year warranty on their knives, which is nice. That's that's pretty good. I know some knife companies don't even offer you that quite that much. But, yeah, they got a 10-year warranty, $13. That's why I didn't even bother sending it back or nothing with the complaints because, I mean, I could fix all of this stuff myself. But yeah, guys, I mean, if you're looking for a cheap uh, multi-tool, something to just toss in a tackle box or in the car or, you know, even just to carry around, this thing's actually not too bad in the pocket either. I mean, you get a pretty decent, get a pretty decent knife, and for the the price for what you get is what so far has uh, really amazed me about this company. I'll have to get further into a few of their other knives. I've been talking with them. Uh, they don't really specify on many of their knives if they're full tang or not. So uh, some of the survival knives and stuff, I, uh, I've actually messaged them just to see if they're full tang. Because the only place I can really find these is on Amazon. I so, but, alright guys, that's really all I got. You know, if you're looking for a cheap beater multi-tool, something to take at work, you're not afraid to lose. Yet, great functionality, you know, decent weight for what you get. And, I mean, you get some pretty decent tools. And like I said, I think this is what makes it the winner. Just that size of that knife for a multi-tool is great. And the profile of the blade as well. That 440C steel, quick and easy to sharpen, has a decent edge. So, you know, they. I, I like what these guys are doing so far. So I'm definitely going to have to check out some more of these. So if you guys want to check out a nice budget brand, give, them a, give a new company a try. You know, check out Granway, see what you guys think. You know, if you guys have had some experience with this, leave me some comments below. Alright guys, well this is Justin from Blue Collar Survival, you guys be safe.